am Mr. Satish Thalangi, Assistant Professor, Department of Civil Engineering, Walchand Institute of Technology, Solapur. In today's session, we are going to see the program evaluation and review technique for the project management. It is also known as a PERT for the project management. The learning outcome. The students will be able to compare the program evaluation and review technique with the particular CPM network technique of the particular project for the project management. The PERT. The PERT is, a, it is also a graphical and the logical representation of the project and its activities. It was developed by the US Navy and it usually it is used for the new type of projects or you can say the R&D or you can say research types of projects. It is an event oriented network technique. It is a, as it is an event oriented network technique, there is a particularly, it is a deterministic or, and, or a probability type of technique it is. It is represented by the AOA type of network. And in the part, we usually see the three times of which we use for the finding out the expected time finally. Here in the part, there is a slack. And with the help of slack, we are going to define whether the particularly particular event is a critical one or non-critical one. With the help of this, we are going to define the critical path which and after, with the help of critical path, we, used, we will define the project duration of particular project. Here, the particular time estimates in the part. The time estimates are the estimates which are means they are the, with the help of the beta distribution curve. We are going to define the three time estimates. Usually, if we consider a single activity, the particular activity can be complete in the prismatic time it is time or you can say it is a condition when it is here the favorable condition is there and it is a minimum time required for the completion of particular activity and the most likely time a most likely time is not is a time when the particular uh, condition is a normal one and it is a normal time required for the completion of the particular activity and the prismatic time is a time when the particular condition is unfavorable one and it is a maximum time required for the completion of the particular activity. With the help of all these three activity we are going to define the expected time of the particular each activity and with the help of this expected time finally we are going to define the project duration of particular project. Here this is a formula which is used for the defining the particular expected time of each activity which is equal to a particularly optimistic time plus 4 into most likely time plus prismatic time divided by 6. This is a beta distribution curve or it is also known as a probability distribution curve. Here it is a more uh, it is a particularly prismatic time. This is a most likely time of the particular activity and this is a prismatic time of the particular activity. <coughs> Here on the particularly when we see the this curve here the most or you can say the most expected uh, you can say the most likely time which is closer to the expected mean time this is a particularly a beta distribution curve which is used to define the times of each activities now expected time estimation of the activities as we have seen in the earlier side the formula which is used for to define the expected time of each activity. The activity A, B, C are here. There are the three times in the per, of the particular each activity. This is here. This is three, five, seven. This is a three is a particularly optimistic time. Five is the most likely time, and seven is a prismatic time. With help of these three times, we are going to define the particular expected time of each activity. Here, with this, these are the uh, particularly. Uh, values or for values of the each expect, uh, each activities that is 5 8 and 9 which is obtained with the help of the formula of the expected time after getting this we are going to calculate the particularly a uh, project duration or you can say the uh, project duration of the particular project here the event times <coughs> the event times are the particularly when we observe these are the yellow color box which are representing the event times in this the event is uh, first 
this event capital T E. This is the earliest expected time, which is forward move from the left hand side to the right hand side, and the time calculated is from the left hand side to the right hand side. And there are the latest allowable occurrence times, that is, which is mentioned below the nodes, that is capital T L, which is calculated from the uh, which is calculated from moving from particularly right hand side to the left hand side. Here, as we see the time calculation, zero plus five, five, five plus eight, thirteen, thirteen plus nine, twenty-two. Similarly, when we move from the right hand side to the left hand side, twelve, twenty-two minus nine, thirteen, thirteen minus eight, five, five minus five, zero. This is a particularly event times. Now. This is overall representation of event and the activity time for the network. Here we see all the event time of each event as well as the activity times of each activities. This is a a particular network diagram which is representing both the times. Yes, yes, yeah. We as we have seen in the earlier slide, we are going to move uh, from the left hand side to the right hand side for the forward path. And from the particularly right hand side to the left hand side, which is called the backward path. In this particular network diagram, the forward path is represented by the black arrows, and the particular backward path is represented by the red arrows. While moving from the left hand side to the right hand side, we consider the maximum durations for the next activity starting, and similarly, when we Move from the right hand side to the left hand side. We consider the minimum times for the activity as late as it's finished, and we move from right hand side to the left hand side for the backward path. This is overall network diagram which is representing the forward path and the backward path. Now, this is a slide of the activity. As we have seen in the CPM, there is a Float in the particular per there is a slack. The slack is a flexible range of the time that an event in a project network can delay without affecting the overall project duration. It is obtained the value of the slack is obtained by the difference between the latest allowable occurrence time and the earlier expected time. In this network diagram, the yellow box are representing The uh, ex earliest expected time, as well as the latest allowable occurrence times. When we see the difference of the between the particular uh, in both the uh, event times, we will get whether that particular activity is having slack zero or more than zero. On which we can define that the particular act event is a critical one or non-critical one. This is slide where we are seeing uh, where we are representing the particularly. Uh, uh, calculations for the slacks times of each events. Here, when we see the particularly first event, it is zero minus zero. It is zero. So here, the first as it is starting, it is a critical one. And when we see event two, here the particularly latest allowable occurrence time is uh, particularly five, and the Earliest expected time is five. Five minus five again it is zero. So that's why we are representing as a critical event. But when we see the event number four, where here the four, when we see the particular latest allowable occurrence time is nineteen, but the earlier expected time is nine. Nineteen minus nine it is ten. Means this particular activity is non-critical. Uh, particular event is non-critical one, and it can be delayed as per the value which is obtained by the difference. That is. Up to ten days, we can delay particular event. This is overall network diagram, and this red colors are representing the particularly arrows, which is the forward path. And when we see the project, particularly project duration is twenty two days. This is a table which is representing the events and its particular slacks. The red color are the uh, red color events are the critical one, and the black color is the non critical one. And 
in today's question now let's we construct the particular uh, uh, you can say the per diagram for the ne per network diagram for the particular problems these are the three events of each activities these are the description which are defining the interdependency between the each activities now this table is representing the expected time which is obtained by the formula as we have seen earlier with the help of this particular data the particular network diagram is constructed and we, with the help of this we are defining each activities durations okay as well as the events slacks now here in this project the particular critical path one is when we see in the event time 1 3 and 4 and the project duration is 8 days now this is a comparison between the particular part and the cpm there are two to three main major points which are the difference between the cpm and the part the part is the particularly uh, event orientation type of network diagram and the CPM is the activity orientation orientation type of network diagram. Here the slack is present in the part and here the float is present in the CPM. Here it is a indeterminist type of technique approach here and it is a determinist type of technique. Here we define the critical path with the help of the events. Here we define the critical path with the help of the activities. These are the major points of in the uh, major points between difference between the particularly part and the CPM. Now these are the references for the today's session. Thank you.